Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a three-digit plus three-digit addition tutorial video from MathDrills.com. Make sure to check out the link in the description below if you don't know about that website. Tons of great resources there, but if you are watching this video, you may need some help with some addition of big numbers, okay? We're talking about hundreds, numbers that are in the hundreds place, three digits. So let's start with the first one. The first one... Um, I'm going to break it down into like baby steps. So if you want to skip ahead, skip ahead. I'm all for it. Don't waste any more time uh, watching a video than you need to. But I'm going to break this one down into its components. So if we break down the number, I'm going to highlight this real quick. 593, that is essentially 500 plus 90 plus 3. It's not just a 5, it represents 500, okay? And it's not just a 9, it represents 90. And 3, of course, is just the ones place, so that's 3. And then the number, let's go beneath it here, seven, uh, 954. This number is 900 plus 50 plus 4. So if you were to do uh, the addition of these things here, okay, so the 3 plus 4, 90 plus 50, 500 plus 900, you'd get the same answer as beneath here, okay? It's, it's the same thing. But the standard algorithm takes care of that for you, so you don't have to worry about that. I just, I'm going to come back to this and refer to it just to keep that in mind, okay? So... As we start here, the first thing that we're going to do, okay, and I'm just going to show you that we're doing the same process, is we're looking here at the 3 and the 4, and we're going to add those together, and we get 7, okay? 3 plus uh, 4 is 7, so we got that part down. Now we have the 9 plus the 5, so it's not just really 9 and 5, it's really 90 and 50 that we're adding, and what does that equal? Well, that equals 140. Well, you don't just write 140 here. That wouldn't make any sense. Now this number says 1,407. That's not even close to being correct, okay? So what we're going to do instead is we are just going to write the 4, and we're going to carry the 1. Why does that work? Well, the reason why that works is because keep in mind that this is the tens place. So really, we're just talking about two-digit numbers. Instead, if this represents 100, we're going to say, okay, this 100... This is going to get moved over here, and we're going to add it with these other 100 numbers, okay? So we have that 40. We know that 100 plus 40 equals 140, okay? Um, but we're just rearranging it. So 140, 140, okay? So we're just going to put the 4 there. That represents the, four, uh, the 40, and we're going to carry the 1. That represents the 100. So now we have 500. Let me get my uh, laser pointer here. 500 plus 900 plus that 100 I already talked about. And what does that equal? Well, that equals, that's uh, 1,500. So here, we can just write 15. Why don't I write 1,500? Well, it's going to be 1,500 over here. But 1,500 plus 40 plus 7 equals 1,547. You just need to write the place at the end, okay? We had the 5. That's how many hundreds are there. But we still have that 1,000, okay? That's that's the amount left, or not left over, but that it gets carried over to the 500 component that goes in the 100 spot. And then we have the thousands because it's no, it ended up being bigger than just the hundreds. So we went over to the thousand spot. Okay, so that's like the breakdown of why the standard algorithm works, why it works to carry the numbers like that. I just wanted you to know so you're not just following directions without understanding why you're doing something. The why is very important to me, okay? And it should be important to you too. So let's go ahead and do a couple more examples so you get the hang of it. So we do 9 plus 7. This is the 1's place, and that's 16. And we're going to carry the 1 because that's 16, and it goes over to the 10 spot. Now we have 2 plus 1 plus 1. That's 4. Nothing to kits carried. And then we have 200 plus 200, and that's 400. So we have 446 is our answer. It's as simple as that. Okay, and we're going to do a couple more examples. So we have 11 here. That equals 9. And then we have 14. If it's the last number on the left, okay, and there's no other numbers, like in the thousands place, next place over, we can just write that whole number that equals down below. So 7 plus 7 equals 14. We can just write that whole number there, okay, just as a reference. Okay, now 6 plus 4, that equals 10. You're just going to write the 0 and then we have the 4, and then we have the 10. Again, since it's the last number, we can just write the whole number down there. Maybe we'll skip to the bottom row, do some of those ones. Maybe they're tougher. Maybe they're not. So we have 1 plus 4 is 5. Then we have 9, 7. So it's not really tougher. Then we have 12. We carry it, and we get 4, and then we get 7. So you get the, the hang of it, okay? Once you understand the reasoning why we can carry those numbers, it makes it a lot easier. And then we get just cranking out on these numbers, and it's much easier, okay? So we just did the bottom row real No, we didn't. We just did 
the bottom row. Now I can say that uh, real quick. If you have any other questions on any of these other ones, I, I'm obviously, obviously skipping a few. Uh, let me know. Leave a comment. I have a ton of other videos for math drills on a math drills playlist. It should be popping up soon somewhere like maybe in this area or this area. Uh, click on that. Make sure to click subscribe if you want uh, more notifications or videos or um, you guys know the spiel. Like if you want to watch more math videos, click subscribe.